we had several project ideas that just didn't quite work out. We spent several sessions brainstorming and, and throwing out some different ideas that we just couldn't quite make work. Each year, every agency for the United Way has to apply for funding. And this past funding cycle, the Lighthouse came to us and asked for additional funding this year for some repairs and some upgrades and improvements at their house. When that came through my director's desk and she knew I was in the leadership class and we hadn't selected a project yet, it was suggestive, what about this? When I brought it to the group, everybody jumped on it. Each of our individual talents and our individual areas, we felt like this was absolutely something we could do. As a team, one of the things that we wanted to do was to understand why this project was so important. I think we all knew that it would have a pretty big impact on Tallahassee County, but we didn't really know why. If you do a Google Scholar search for addiction therapy, you're going to get about a million hits. Addiction is a pretty big area of research because it's a worldwide concern. The United States identifies that community-based services are a key ingredient in combating addiction. Programs like The Lighthouse take men that are struggling with addiction and strive to turn them around to become productive members of society. Those that are struggling with addiction need to learn how to handle their anger, their hatred, their fears. I think we all recognize that a warm, comfortable environment was a critical component of this process. Our efforts could help improve the facility so that the professionals could do their job a bit better, which is helping the patients heal. So day one at the at the lighthouse uh, was, was really the construction day and the demo day. Uh, we went in and uh, tore out all all the old uh, chair rail baseboard and all the wood below the chair rail that was, uh, had water damage. Uh, so we replaced it with, uh, with true wood, uh, replaced the chair rail, replaced the baseboard, and then over in the uh, in the, the kitchen we did the same thing. Went in and replaced the water damaged um, walls. We replaced the chair rail, uh, replaced the um, baseboards, and we're also replacing coffee stand countertop. Uh, uh, we will put a piece of granite on that where they had a piece of plywood. So that whole day was just devoted to just painting, cleaning up everything, and really just getting everything a new, fresh, brightened up. We worked with Terry, the director at the Lighthouse, so she selected a color that we thought would really just brighten up the whole look and just really add a fresh touch to it. The Russell Dewitt Center was able to work with those colors and match those. We had volunteers from CAC that came and helped. We had some of our family members that also came. And then of course, some of the residents at the Lighthouse stayed and helped us paint as well. Well, I'm, I'm happy to take this opportunity to tell Leadership Lake Martin how grateful we are for everything that was done here. It means a lot to us, and it, it's something that, that the staff and the clients will enjoy for years to come. And it was, it was really wonderful that everybody came together and worked so hard on a volunteer basis to help us out with something that we really needed. To have done and, and we appreciate you all.